Alexa, what are my notifications? One new notification from Amazon Shopping. A shipment has arrived. Oh. <sighs> okay. Hello, guys. Okay, this is so weird. Um, and I feel like this light is looking real, ooh. Mm -mm. Why is none of this nice? Maybe I should turn it up a little bit. Or maybe I can turn it up. I can't. Okay, this is my first time vlogging clearly ever. Hi guys, hello. Um, look, look who's here. Say hello. Hey, 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 you're so squirmy. Say hi, look right here. Say hi, Murray. Um, <laughs> hi guys. Okay, I don't even know what to say. It has been, I don't even know, over a year probably since I've vlogged. Um, YouTube is very difficult for me in that it is very time consuming. I think I have a little bit of perfectionism habits and um, our tendencies and YouTube can just take so long if you nitpick on every little thing and I do sometimes which is a problem um, that I need to work on but I told myself I've completely like moved backwards in YouTube they have like canceled me as a creator um, or they've taken away like all of my creator titles so I don't even have access to all of the features anymore um, of YouTube I don't I'm not even monetizable anymore like any of that stuff um, just because it's been a year or six months or so since I posted so or I haven't been posting regularly enough for them so um, anyway hi I am back um, I hope this is a regular thing. I'm really gonna try. It is one of my resolutions basically this year to get back to YouTube um, and not be so nitpicky about how everything looks and if it's perfect and if my house looks perfect. My house never looks perfect. It's never cleaned. Um, it's always a mess. I don't have kids and it's still a mess um, with just me and Frank and this little chihuahua that we have. Um, taken on here right so anyways um yeah I told myself I just want to vlog for a couple of reasons for one I think that Instagram can be such a small snapshot of your life and YouTube is too but like Instagram is ridiculously small portion of your life and people don't truly know who you are um what you stand for or understand things about your personality whatsoever um by just looking at a photo and um, yes, you can be more in depth in captions and be a little more transparent during stories, but still I feel like people don't really grasp who you are. And I notice that the creators that I truly understand who they are and their messaging, I watch their YouTube videos. So I kind of want to get back to it just so that maybe people can understand a little bit more of who I am. Um, and on top of that, selfishly, I just enjoy making the videos and looking back at them um i love documenting like different portions of my life when i look back on videos from five years ago i'm like oh my gosh i remember that trip or i remember um you know that summer and the things we did and if you don't document it it's just kind of gone sometimes um my memory's not that great <laughs> so um you just forget like the little things that happen or um i don't know just like little memories that are still valuable to me so anyway i have my old vlogging camera i've got my canon g7x i probably need to upgrade this um i need to upgrade lighting everything um it will probably be a slow process because i just feel like i need to ease myself back into it i can't like get all new stuff all new equipment and i have like all new things to learn like just Making this video, getting it on Final Cut, and getting it on YouTube will be um, a feat in itself. So, and I will be happy with that as an accomplishment. Okay, it's January 5th, Wednesday, January 5th. Yeah, I wanted to start vlogging and make sure that I started today because my birthday is actually January 16th. I am a Capricorn. Um, for all of you that know signs, you know how Capricorns are, which would also explain why, um, 
I get like a little too hard on myself and a little too detail oriented when like putting together YouTube videos, which means I don't end up putting them out, which is why we're here and where we're at. So my birthday is on the 16th. I'm actually going on a trip. Right after that, I'm going to Northern California. Um, I'm gonna be hanging out with my management company and meeting some of those girls for the first time, seeing some familiar faces. It should be fun. And it's like a big girls trip all girls that do what I do and all of our managers. So it should be really fun. Oh my God, I've been talking for nine minutes. I am so sorry. I just shot with Frank, like I mentioned. Um, and I wanna show you guys the Christmas gift I ended up getting from him. They are these beauties. Look at this. I always want a bag, but I have been eyeballing these sneakers. These are a men's sneaker and I thought they were so cute. Um, I've been wanting like the Jordan ones and they're sold out everywhere. They're, I think they're like $900, which that's pretty much the price of these. So I got these, um, Frank got these for the, for me, my husband, I'm married now. That's happened since like, last time I've been on YouTube. Um, and look, I thought they were really cute, but they totally give me that vibe okay. going down stuff. Um, I got a order in for our coffee machine. Um, which I'm obsessed with. We got our coffee machine for a wedding gift, um, which was so nice. It honestly was like one of the best wedding gifts we got. And it's an espresso machine. So here it is. It's really cute actually. And it goes with our vibe. I'm obsessed. The coffee is just premium. We actually got this whole little setup. We got a Smeg um, kettle. And then we got these as well which are so cute in this little, we ran out of coffee. So I just ordered some more um, from Nespresso. Gosh, I really am gonna have to go ahead and buy a tripod for this soon. It's like Whitney's first day. Got the Nespresso box here. Gonna show you guys what we normally get. Oh, actually are these all for Frank? Yeah, they pretty much all are. This is the Bianco Forte. And then this is the one I bought for me. So I got gingerbread. How cute. I know it's past Christmas, but I still like the like seasonal flavors. Then I got just a Mexico blend for him. Okay, this is key, the milk frother. This came with it. It was like a set on Amazon. If I can find the actual set, I'll link it. But um, I put it on my registry like a year ago, basically, or nine months ago when we got married. Um, but the frother, so good. And I know there's like cheap frothers on Amazon, but this one is worth the coins because the little ones are just like a little handheld thing. This, you put the milk in there, you walk away from it, and it really foams it up if you use the proper milk. I use coconut milk and love it. But what I realized is this saves me tons of coins. Um, I feel like my Starbucks are normally about $5 because I do lattes. I want like dairy-free milk. I want this, I want that. And next thing you know, it's like five, six bucks. And these things I think are like a dollar twenty. So we're looking at like an under two dollar latte every single time. And I can have two a day, and that's like four bucks versus like one Starbucks is six dollars for me. So I love, love, love it. And I feel like I'm getting the quality of Starbucks, which is amazing. Friday, finally, the weekend is coming to a, a close. Um, I'm still working, per usual, what time is it? 3.46, um, I'll probably be working for the next hour or two. But, um, I didn't vlog yesterday, but I'm trying to stay on top of this vlogging thing. I'm about to make a coffee right now, and then I am really excited because I wanna go over some stuff I picked up. So I haven't even explained to you guys what's going on, but I'm gonna explain it and go over this stuff with you. I'm really excited. If you guys didn't know, um, I am a Capricorn baby. My birthday is in literally a week. Um, so 
I am going on a trip for my birthday. I've realized every year having my birthday in January is very difficult. Um, if you are a Christmas baby, a New Year's Eve baby, or a January ba baby, I feel like you totally know this. That is the most festive fun time of year and also um, the busiest and people have so many other things going on and just birthdays kind of fall by the wayside. Um, my poor mother's birthday is on Christmas Eve and talk about falling on the wayside. Like hers is always overshadowed by Christmas. Mine, I don't know which one is worse. Hers is probably worse, but mine is right after New Year's, so people are broke. They've spent every dollar they have for Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, everything. And then 16 days later, I'm like, ooh, let's celebrate my birthday. Not only are people not trying to spend money, but also they've decided to do dry January and not drink. Um, they've decided to go on a diet and not eat any fun foods. Um, they've decided to reset their life and any ounce of fun has been eradicated from their lifestyle. They're hitting the gym every day. They're only eating Brussels sprouts and they will not touch a glass of wine and they will not be celebrating because it usually costs money. So. That has been the story of my birthday my entire life. Um, but this year, my friends took action. I'm taking you with me. Um, they actually, so the last two years, I've decided the best way to celebrate my birthday, best way to have a good time and not, um, you know, really dwell on it. Because I'm a party girl. I would love to do a party situation, but it's just not the right time for a party. What I have been doing and has been working really well for me is going on a trip. I decide to go on a cold uh, climate type of trip every year, which is so fun. So the last two years, I have um, gone skiing, which I love to do. If you don't know this about me, um, I started skiing when I was a lot younger. My dad used to take me and my little sister, and um, it's been something that I've been able to get back into now as an adult. Oh my God, why is my battery dying? I went to Tahoe, no, I went to Aspen two years ago, Tahoe this past year, and I'm going to Big Bear this year, California. So I'm really excited. So point is, before this dies, I bought tons of ski apparel and I wanna share it with you guys. I found stuff that is very affordable. So I'm gonna share it all with you guys and then link it all to basically. So yeah, hopefully this is helpful. Okay, I'm gonna get my coffee, charge this battery real quick, and then pull out these clothes. So this is just part of it so lots to share with you guys okay look one excuse the mess i'm already getting sweaty i look like a giant baked potato okay look number two you guys here we are Okay, next up, linking this. I was so excited about this, guys. Um, it was under 20 bucks, and I thought it was the cutest thing. So I got a little headband puff. All right, new updates. I am in my workout clothes. I am not happy about it, because it is Sunday and I want to relax, but I can't, because I committed myself to something that I wish I never did. <laughs> Just kidding, um, but kind of, I'm <laughs> telling the truth, to be honest. Um, I'm headed to a little workout class right now. Um, it's like a yoga thing. My girlfriend, Ava, her friend is actually putting this event on. So it's Sunday and we're doing like a little yoga class and I think they have like a little like snacks or brunch or something afterward. Um, and yeah, I just literally went with like the easiest look. This little top from Aloe Yoga, I've had it for like three years, is really cute. But anyway, I'm going to brunch and I'm waiting. My girlfriend's about to pick me up, Candace. So yeah, should be. Should be fun. Look a little crazy. I kinda, oh, here's the thing. I am not a huge fan of like going to these workout classes, these like influencer workout classes because I feel like they take photos and videos the whole time. You're looking kind of crazy. They don't care. Um, they just want you to be there. And so you kind of like never really work out well because you're like worried there's always a camera in your face. So I hope that it's not like that and we can actually just like zen out and have a nice little yoga time with girls, but I have a feeling they're gonna be taking photos and videos the whole time. So anyway, I think that's Candace dinging. I gotta go.
we worked off, you know, probably about 170 calories and I'm now about to eat about 600. So. Yeah, I can actually tell you, yeah, we did a little over 100. A little over 100? Dang. And that wasn't even for the full, that wasn't the full time though, so I didn't start my watch. Okay. So maybe we are at like 150. I would say. share the items that I got from the house or got for the house so I just got I'm trying to finish off our living room our living room is not completely together and it's the room that's probably the closest to being done so I'd love to have something done in the house eventually so that's what we're working on Frank's packing up the car for the trip we leave tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. I got my little ring lights um, <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys the little living room area and show you like what we're working with. So we have the mirror, hello. The TV, I have that frame TV. This is the biggest issue. We need to put a little shelving unit here. We have nothing there yet for like the TV cords. We have this beautiful little white chair that we got from CB2. I love, or no, Crate and Barrel, love that. Um, this is my rug that I got from Ruggable. Um, I can link this because this is really cool. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. I've always wanted one and they actually contacted me to work with them. And I was really excited. Um, it comes with a little sticky mat so you can peel it up. So you can actually throw this whole rug in the washer and dryer if it um, gets stained. And you can keep the little sticky mat down. We have this really cute little table my mom got us from Crate and Barrel. Um, this is an old... Um, coffee table this is in dire need of styling like right now it's just remote central and a couple of random plants uh, hold on this little area back here I don't know if I ever showed you guys this this is from crate and barrel I love this this is so cool these things pop open and I have like little things in there it's supposed to be a little more organized it's supposed to look like that on that side um, also from crate and barrel I don't know if I said that this bowl, I think, is from Crate. I've got these from Amazon. Um, Target find, Target find. And then, oh, I got this painting that I still haven't taken the little papers off. I got this from um, Home Goods. So we have a little tree in the corner, and Frank has commandeered the space for his keyboard, which doesn't really go with my aesthetic, but he demands to keep it. Um, anyway. This is basically what it's looking like without me taking too much time here. Um, I thought this was really cute, actually. I'm, like, loving this couch. Um, love the tan color. I randomly got these pillows from Home Goods, but it's very, very beige. So, eventually, I need to add some color into this, and that's what I'm, like, working on, trying to figure out how to do that. And then this is the end corner, which we messed up. Frank, God bless him. He, um demanded to have like this in but we need like an end with the with the armrest so I might get another piece because it could go there but whatever okay let me show you guys the decor that I got so starting off with Target I'm going to show you guys what I picked up from there first of all this pillow thought this would be cute I just love the little linen um, fabric and the little tan designs that go all the way throughout. I'm trying to figure out how to add color to there, but I'm gonna have to work on it. I just keep going towards the whites and the tans, but this is at least a design, a pattern. We don't even have a pattern on the couch right now. Then, um, I'm so over the ugly sponges in the kitchen, like the red, the blue, or no, it's like blue, green, yellow sponges. So I wanted a cute little um, brush or sponge to use by my kitchen sink i want to leave it out and then i also got this little vase i thought she was pretty um and i think this is for flowers but voila this fits perfectly so i thought i could just like set this right by the kitchen sink that would look very cute a nice white like bleached wood and um i just thought 
this would be a good way to kind of like control the remote situation like there's remotes everywhere i also got this little link of marble marble links i guess <laughs> but they, i thought they were really cool because they actually have some blush tones in it i don't think this camera's picking it up i'm gonna have to work on the settings on this camera because it seems so cool toned but it has really pretty blush tones in it and i thought this would look pretty laying right here um maybe some remotes over here or a candle and then i also got this little piece that i thought was really pretty and i thought i could throw that here or by its side so i still need help with the coffee table i'm gonna have to do like coffee table books or something but i definitely want to do something cute okay the battery's about to die so lastly let me show you what i got at home goods um before it goes out on me i found this tray um i will try to link whatever i can from home goods but we know or actually i can't link anything from home goods but i thought this would look really pretty sitting on top of the coffee table these i'm obsessed with when i saw them i was like oh my god look how beautiful these are i don't even know what this is for but i just loved like the vintage vibes of the gold base there can you see that um and then it has this on top so i know i could throw like a candle in it just so pretty and i got two of them it says they're handcrafted in india but they can be stacked next to each other then i got both of these vases i thought these would be so cute to set on the floor by the fireplace and maybe put some sticks or like pompous in there something like that i think that's all i got from home goods so that is it this battery is gonna die on me um i'm gonna try to wrap up my work and then we're gonna start packing for this trip morning it is 6 a.m been up since five and we're getting ready for the trip Ooh, Murray's up getting the last bits together This is our room. It's kind of hard to see. We got our we got a little rocking chair. And we have a shower in here and a closet and bathroom. Most importantly, I want to show you the which I think is so cool. Even if the odds are in my favor, I just need more time. So if you wait just a little bit. I will treat you right Treat you right Yeah Feels like I'm stuffed Bring me something right Feels like I'm stuffed Bring me something right Soon as I saw you I knew it's never right now Right now Okay, I'm gonna try not to slip and fall I'm not wearing the right snowshoes Literally stepping on ice Try not to eat it. And then we have another little fire pit. And then look how beautiful. It's just open land. So gorgeous. The snow is starting to melt a little bit. Okay, back this way. Let's see if they'll let me in. I'll show you through the living room. Okay, here is the living room. Yes, what's up? Hello. Oh, for the candles. Yeah. So there's three motives, and then okay, this is the situation. <laughs> These are my elves working hard. Well, at least one of them. Are you guys literally talking about Nick some more? This is all we talk about. This is all we talk about is Nick. Now we're talking about you. No, just talking about boys. Okay. And here's like the little. 
Menu. Do, 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 do. See you? Cute little bathroom. Cute. What? I am. I might. This might be the last clip we get, but yes. Hi, Sissy. Cute. I know. Are you still working? Stay safe. Cute little room. Love this. Okay. And now our mole rats downstairs. They have this space. They have the game room. Here is the game room. Pool table. They have their rooms here. Tequila. Wow. Look at me! Yee! Yeah. Oh, yay! The crew is all here finally! Yeah. Chase! Hello! Hello, people! Look at Ava! She squeezed into this little house with CB number! Oh, uh, hit it! Oh, hit it! Oh, okay! Uh, uh, okay! <laughs> This cute. Yeah, we're looking crusty the rest of the weekend. Take tomorrow. Ski trip. Ski expedition. No makeup. I might die, so this might be the last you see of me. Yep. And remember her as this pretty gal right here. Because later she'll be looking crazy. <laughs> I'm all curls and snow all in the hair. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Everyone's in their gear. Ready. Amber. Ready mm. She's ready to hit the slopes. And hit it. Hit it. With a sideshow bob. I know. <laughs> 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 the girls <laughs> coming out. I hope you don't expect me to be you for the rest of the trip. <laughs> this is it. I'm like, last night was it. That's why I told y'all to come correct. Because I'm like, we'll be looking crusty dusty the rest looking of the trip. <laughs> so crazy sorry if I did a really crappy job of um, vlogging the birthday trip it was really difficult to just vlog with like 11 people there and they all um, you know we're just trying to keep everybody together make sure everyone has what they need and still have fun god forbid at the same time so um, yeah back from Big Bear got home was home for 18 hours and now um, I left again to go to San Luis Obispo which is like four, almost three to four, well, three and a half hours north of from where I live in California. I'm kind of in like wine country area um, by Pismo Beach, all of that. And I'm here for a fun slash like work trip situation. So I'm gonna hang out here with my management team for the next three or four days. Um, and I just got to the hotel, it's so cute. So I wanna show you guys. The drive was also really, really nice. It was so peaceful. Majority of it was like, right by the water, right by the ocean, or it was um, going through like the vineyards and stuff. So really, really pretty. So here we are, this is a little coffee station that I kind of ruined already. I haven't put my stuff away. I just wanted to get this video immediately before I started messing with the room. Here's the bed, so cute. Super fun decor, have the TV, dresser, a nice little area to sit, couch, a little workstation, which I'll definitely be using. The best part are these floor to ceiling sliding windows. And you can just walk straight outside. I have a cute little coffee set up on my balcony. Guys, it's so cute out here. And the temperature is amazing. It feels like heaven. But look how cute. I'm gonna sit out here and have my coffee. All the little balconies are here. Then come back inside. We've got the bathroom over here. Fun little lit mirror with a cute tile option. This is the shower. 
and toilet. So, should be fun. I'm excited. I am so crusty right now. I literally did like 10 minutes of makeup, threw on the first sweatsuit I could find, and ran out the door with half my clothes still in the luggage from Big Bear. It's a mess. So I need to like organize my life. I think I'm supposed to be downstairs in an hour for drinks, welcome drinks, to meet everybody. So I need to get myself together. So um, I'm putting you down. Toodaloo. Time for me to unpack. Okay, night one, dinner outfit. This is what I'm working with. I've got a cute little pearl sweater, pearl headband to match. Then I have tan accessories and blush tone leather pants. So, yeah, cannot wait for dinner. Should be fun. First night out in St. Louis. And then you asked me if I would come along. I just can't seem to believe in the thought.